Catch up. <laughs> yeah, we started about half an hour ago, but, but actually two days ago. Hmm. So we've been still on the same topic. Really, it's been eternity, hasn't it? So. And, but then, but as we looked at it, it was it was through the whole, like through all the years that we mm. even know of. Mm. It's been like it's been mm. that kind of thing. And so, so, yeah. uh, so the theme. Just a reminder that the theme that is in uh, that that has come up in our joinings here and we have we have Sarah Sarah hello with us uh, Sarah. Uh, visiting, visiting <laughs> us at Camus and uh, uh, in between her travels and so as as we just embrace each an opportunity to connect very deeply and just to stay very very close uh, there's something that emerged very quick in the mind as we started to connect as we started to connect again in the, like in the fresh, new, just in the freshness of it all, mm. and uh, the love of my life, the oh. love of your life. That's uh, <laughs> we realized that we've been talking about it, and uh, and it's been uh, it's been just really here, and here we are also connecting. Mm -hmm. Here we are too, and uh, it's like it's come up in all different forms, isn't it? We were talking about right. a movie. This Victoria and Abdul. Uh, was a movie a couple of us happened to have seen mm. and there was this incredible love between these two that should never really have met or had anything to do with each other a, an Indian seeming servant and, and a queen and you know and everyone was against them being together but they were just they just recognized each other for who they were who they truly were you know in, mm. in an instant and there's nothing that the form could do to to stop that you know even, even though everyone tried stopping it there they were just totally in love with who they truly were, you know, who they truly are. And even beyond the grave, there was still the eternal love is there, is always there. And mm. you were talking about your trip, you know, which has been an amazing miracle. Yeah, I've been falling in love with all trip. my hosts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like to the, to the point that there was almost a wrench on going with every single one mm. in a very profound way. And almost like each, each house, it was my only home that I'd ever known. And it's just it's a feeling of like the same beloved in every eyes mm. and that's that's what we've been enjoying joining about mm. that that's true mm. that the one in front of you is the one that you love that's, that's the beloved mm. that's the one mm. it's that deep recognition of that love that eternal love you know and the form figures may change and even the, the places that we seem to be in may change and, but the love is ever there you know mm. forever and ever it just doesn't change and the more you know, we're in that presence of that love, the more we can, we just experience it, you know, that the, it doesn't matter what happens with the form, you know, mm. the form changes, whether the people change or even the places. I was saying to Deanna, I think yesterday, I was saying how much I love being here in Camus, you know, and I, you know, Mexico is just, whoa, that's just not a good place, you know, in my mind. And she was saying just before we left Cam uh, Mexico only a couple of weeks ago, how much I was in love with Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot it was out the of my same, awareness. The same thing about Mexico. Yeah, so it's all about, you know, where, where I seem to find myself. You know, this, mm -hmm. is, the, this is where I'm in love. This mm -hmm. seeming person, this place, this everything. Everything is, I'm just completely in love with where I'm at, who I'm with in this moment. And it's not to drag the form figure with me, you know, yeah. a person or a place, as you've really been experiencing, just going from place yeah. to place every couple of days completely fought in love with someone and then you've got to leave and it's like if you try and hang on to those yeah then that's going to be painful awful you know? yeah but then there's just well you think there was suffering there's a happy <laughs> lightheartedness instead isn't yeah it? i just time, i so. just let them ship me on to the next bus or plane or to the next doorway and i take a deep breath and i say goodbye and i just it's like this one moment where you cross the threshold and there's the beloved again <laughs> answering the door to you, you know? But it's, there is that moment every time of absolute trust that nothing will be lost. Like you really have to, to, to take that leap of faith every time. I can actually feel it as a decision in my mind to, to choose love and then not choose people and not choose places and not choose things. Yeah. Like to choose to choose like you were saying, Diana, undoing the blocks to the awareness of love's presence mm -hmm. by by facing into that assignment with whoever's next mm -hmm. and now and now. <laughs> yeah, it's been wonderful. I've just got that song in my mind, you know. Let the love flow <laughs> like a mountain stream. <laughs>
<laughs> it's letting it flow wherever it is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And I try to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, the grace of being given ones so that you can undo those blocks with, yeah. so that you can find the love of your life, you know, mm -hmm. so you can truly find mm -hmm. that experience of being Christ in yourself. Like we've had a lot of good goes at that, yeah. you know, when, when we first were to work together, I, I remember just having loads of attack thoughts about you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, nine months later, we were able to go on tour together, yeah. you know, and it was all soft and mm. then there was more healing, but it, mm. it's just not what you think. Mm. I mean, the spirit actually had to sit me down and make me watch a Paul Rudd movie to show me how like Paul Rudd you were. See, you like Paul Rudd. <laughs> Michael's just like Paul Rudd. <laughs> what movie was that? I can't remember which Paul Rudd <laughs> movie it was, but just some someone, mm. just to, to see all of... But of course, it was just the intimacy was flushing up my, mm. my own self-hatred. Mm. And then, thankfully, so blessed was I that it could easily spout out at you. Mm. And, and in that way, and you, didn't, you seemed immune to it, which was a huge blessing for me. I could just say it without any guilt or shame, and it would be gone, you know? Diana was getting delighted at me when I'd bounce into her with what I was sharing because it, we recognized how deep it was, whatever was being burnt off. Mm. Mm. And then what was left was so true and mm. safe mm. and gentle and real. Yeah. And me and myself, you know? Yeah. So. And that was a miraculous tour then, Colorado tour a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. And that's what we were just saying just before we went live is that... A year and a half. Although, yeah. how wonderful... Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> time. <laughs> However wonderful that is, you don't want to bring it to now, you know. No. You know, the first time we caught up again <laughs> for a long time. Yeah. And so we don't want to bring anything from then to no. now. Like, this is completely fresh in this moment. So just meeting your brother completely anew right now yes. really is, is the practice that Jesus yeah. is pointing us to, isn't it? Yeah. And, it's, and it feels so alive. I mean, it is. it doesn't matter how wonderful something is. If you try and bring that to now, how can that possibly be vibrant and fresh? You know, mm. like it's just... It's old, you know. That's what's that's what's happened. That was beautiful, great. That's where it's meant to be. <laughs> mm. Try to bring it, bring it here is just. Mm. It's actually sticky and doesn't feel good. Yeah, so just it's more the gratitude of the symbol of my mm. brother being someone that I could come into love with. Yeah, like really discover it, not mm. not know it or claim it mm. or understand it, mm. but actually have a practical experience mm. of it, without it having to be like in set roles or set ways with each other. Mm. You know, I think we were talking about like what is, who who is the love of your life? Mm -hmm. You know, and that that really that that question and searching for the love of your life just keeps you away from finding the having the experience. <laughs> right. So because there it is right in front of you. It is. It is <laughs> right in front of you, and I I just feel like the blessing of my lack of recognition and the spirit's patience and the generosity of being given so many brothers and sisters mm -hmm. to discover the love of my life and now it's so consistent mm -hmm. it just it happens it's just kind of involuntary this experience of my heart leaping and they, everyone looks gorgeous to me and everyone is attractive and i even had a heart opening with a little pug two <laughs> weeks ago <laughs> it, it, it just insisted in sitting right up on my lap and i just my heart really opened and i I just had to allow it, you know, mm. it was like meeting your brother, you know, whatever the call was, and I probably would have, you know, said I'll sit over here and you can have your own seat. <laughs> but truly, I, I had a heart opening and mm. I had to describe that to my host. Mm. So that's that's just, I. it's so unexpected for me how it's happening. Mm. And it's so unexpected for me, the depth I can feel for people who a day before were actually complete strangers mm. who I'd never spoken to. And so that's incredible to me. Mm. I think I had some thought that it would all get kind of blander and easier and just light. That is so deep and mm. so profound mm. and so heartfelt mm. and, and so real. And so there's no loss in that. Mm. You know, yeah. it's like forgiveness is the love of my life, you know. Mm. I, the one in front of me is my opportunity for that washing away of all that's in the way of just being this radiant experience. And I'm just so grateful to have those chances, yeah. you know, again yeah. and again. It's like a nice litmus test in a way to see if I'm seeing anything other than innocence in my brother, mm -hmm. the one that's in front of me. Then there's something for me to release. You know? mm. If I'm seeing anything other than the Christ, if I'm seeing if I've got any sort of judgment thoughts, this is what we want to release to be able to come into this deep recognition of who we truly are. Mm. So that's, that's what Jesus 
tells us, isn't it, the undoing of the blocks to the awareness of love's presence. So mm. it's such a worthwhile journey to allow that, you know, mm. to allow whatever's there to, to come up and to be flushed up. And this is where we, you know, the mighty companions, the ones that have a shared purpose, are so important to be, to have around you, you know. Mm. Certainly, experience without mighty companions are with, and there's no comparison. You know, it's just so important to have the shared purpose there. You know, for anything that does get flushed up, that it can just wash through. That you've got someone that you can mm. that will hold the space for you in that true uh, mm. empathy, without uh, judging you or, or pushing you away, saying what are you doing, or you know, the first bit of stuff coming up, they want to f stuff it down. Mm. It's just so important to have those around you that are that have that shared purpose. You know? I mean, we've been talking about relationships. I think there was somebody who had a question around uh, being in relationships with with those that aren't on a spiritual journey or right. interested mm -hmm. in in any of this. What do you do about that? Well, I've got a short answer, but there might be. <laughs> <laughs> There's a highly individualized answer. I know that question has been like, yeah. has been coming in. Yeah, yeah, through. Through various channels, but that was the question. But the question, what was the? Qu it's repeated. But just the question. Just so we're was, clear. So, yeah. uh, if you have a partner who's not interested in the in a spiritual journey, um, what do you do about that? You right. Know? How do you practice true intimacy, right, with right. someone? If your partner or your family members or the close ones uh, are not interested at all mm. in that, you said you know. <laughs> I said I had a short answer, yeah, yeah. and uh, I think we spoke about it the other day. And you had an idea, you had a, a broader answer for it. Man. We can give the, the larger talk context. The, yeah, but talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, for me, I can just talk about my experience. I um, was married for nineteen years with a wonderful partner that really wasn't interested in the spiritual side of things, um, or at least. You know, a course of miracles in the way Jesus has us practice, and there was certainly a lot of forgiveness opportunities, and you know that was a wonderful mm. experience to be able to forgive my brother. Um, but there really wasn't a meeting point in, you know, looking at the course and, and what Jesus says, and to be able to join when I've had st uh, stuff coming up. It was like, oh, what are you doing that for? What's the, you know why? Why have you got stuff coming up? You know, it's not for. It's just not for, um, there's no healing in it. Or if there is stuff coming up, then you just sort of loop in it. You know, there's no, mm. no willingness to see it differently. And that's, that's the key part to this, to be able to, you know, if your brother is looping in something, it's okay to flush something up, that's great. And just for the opening, but that's only a, a start. You know, that's a, mm -hmm. that's a really initial start. Really the next step is then to, to be really willing to see it differently, to give it over to the spirit truly so I can see it differently, to actually be willing to be wrong about this. Mm. And that can take quite a hit, yeah, mm. from the ego. And, you know, without someone there sort of working with you or, you know, even being able to point it out to you to say, hey, you're willing to see this differently. Or being aware. Being aware. Of what's happening. Right. And yeah. being able to hold the space in true yeah. empathy um, really just makes it a lot more difficult, you know. So it's doable. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. just nowhere near as um, supportive. Mm. I think the key thing for me, though, when I'm joining with people, and the, the key is, what are you using your brother for? Because mm. if you are using, it's not anything about your brother. It's like, are you using your brother to hide mm. or to bring you closer to your brother and God? And it's that simple for me. Mm. It's like, how are you using your brother? Mm. Because it's in all these relationships, the store clerk, you know, your postman, mm. um, your children, your dog walker. It's really, how are you using them in your mind? Mm. And... If you begin to use them appropriately in your mind, it, it the life will take care of itself. Yeah. If you're yeah. devoted, it's not stay, go. You know, that's not that question, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the question is, what are you using your brother for? Yeah. Um, and, and what's your devotion to for yourself? And that's very clear. Sure. Yeah. yeah, with those casual encounters and those ones we're not sort of intimately involved with on a long-term basis, that's definitely it. Just for me, I can just talk about mine. Mm situation is when I was very very you know linked with somebody you know uh, if you like intimately and physically and what have you then that companionship or that shared purpose was just very very important 
you oh, know, yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. And that was a contrast experience I had uh, then with Melanie, you know, um, you know, together for some years. And that was just so beautiful to have someone there who was so willing to meet me in the truth, you know, and mm -hmm. not put up with my crap. <laughs> you know, being totally fine with me expressing, but then really calling me on it if it felt like it was a loop, you know, mm -hmm. that it wasn't actually helpful, uh, that there was something going on there and calling me on it, you know, which I was really very, very grateful for. And, you know, for us, and she was my first partner, if you like, uh, involved with the Course in Miracles when I was really involved with the Course. And we read a couple of sections that I found just so helpful mm. every day, actually, for a long time, for, for a couple of months. And really, it was the Rules for Decision was, our, was the main one, which is um, at the beginning of Chapter 30, um, really giving your day over to the Spirit without any compromise, actually, you know, just saying, if I make no decisions by myself today, this is the kind of day that, that I'll have, you know, peaceful, joyful, happy day was oftentimes what I would say, but whatever you really want, you know, to be happy, you've really got to give those decisions over to the Spirit. So we read that section every day and then committed to that very deeply, you know, in that shared purpose, it was so helpful. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was probably the main section, but also the development of trust section, the other section we read every day for quite some time just looking at those six stages of the development of trust and the third section then we read every day was the true empathy section at the beginning of chapter 16 just to really be able to hold the space for each yeah. other and those around us so those three sections we read yeah very consistently over a long period of time it was just so helpful actually So, the de rules for decision is really good at chapter 30, mm -hmm. beginning of chapter 30, true empathy, chapter 16, the beginning of that, and then the sta development of the stages of trust as the, the manual for teachers in the section four. Mm -hmm. And then really practicing this joining with every single brother wherever I am in a shopping line or mm -hmm. the postman or anything else, just to be really. I guess why that came to my mind was because I'm having such heightened experiences in random situations. Mm -hmm. And I was with Mike at the cinema and one of my hosts, and he couldn't believe what he was watching, where a woman who felt guilty because she'd brought her child to the cinema, and I was picking up the sweater the child had dropped, she thought I'd fallen over it, and she's all apologetic. Then she goes into unburdening herself of all the guilt of the day, then she hears I'm Irish, then we're in each other's arms and she's relieving herself of lifetimes of, of guilt and shame mm -hmm. and she's telling me all of this in a rush mm -hmm. in a moment mm -hmm. and it was so intimate Mike was just standing there <laughs> looking at me just on just in disbelief that so I guess I am experiencing now no um, time factors with continuity mm -hmm. so it's not like you know like in a relationship consecutively days in a row that means you're going deeper with your brother I'm experiencing that exact same you know and I've been in that similar kind of relationship but in purpose I'm experiencing that no matter where I am literally all the time like in extreme cases like extreme cases and they f I feel it's like trust it's like if you the degree to which you trust everyone can join you in it you just there is trust and it's like the degree to which you're open to just this you know true intimacy the love of your life then any vehicle in front of you can can join you in that immediacy mm. so it's quite it's quite dramatic mm. and and yet it is really wonderful to also have someone you can seemingly develop with face every day get to know you know so that things don't get wiped under you know the carpet or something yeah if they're given, you. of course, that's yeah, the thing too. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You can't so make that happen either. Yeah, mm. well, mm. mm -hmm. uh, narrow what we call a narrow path. And again, that's back to that question: mm. What do you do if uh, your partner is not uh, is not interested? Mm. Uh, what you you don't try to get them yeah. to be interested in that at all. But however, it's always you can you it can never hurt. Uh, the one way to go with it, y you just work, you apply it to yourself, and uh, and you just watch. Um, it's it's always the approach is always 
each and every situation is given to what your own mind to see what what thoughts are being what are the thoughts what are the beliefs what are the upsets and uh, and work with that to the extent that you can and it could be uh, it could be that that very partner or whoever like we are close ones that they will shift and they will start showing the interest and it could be that it won't and it's just matter this is where we we, we talk about what's given mm. what is truly given but in the way like what happens and each time whenever there's some who like whenever there's one who's authentically interested in spiritual awakening and journey of releasing the blocks to the awareness it's Oh, you just start where you are literally no further like you work like what is this upset like let like like let's you know let like spirit take like take a look at this upset what is it and just even using the tools that are available such as uh, even instrument for peace levels of mind and that's where you you start with that and then in the end what happens the this is the outcome, the effect of working, um, of uh, doing such work, the inner work that the mind opens up. And I guess this is where, like, it could be. This is where the resistance is. This is where the ego is, like, uh, resistant to any kind of tool, to uh, because the mind is gonna open up nonetheless, and then it's gonna because what what's gonna happen? You'll you'll notice as you do the inner work, the solution is not. Um, what you may think it is because the problem is not mm. where you may yeah. think it is you can't fix the problem like you know Einstein you can't fix the problem on at the level of the problem so so this is where like in the end it comes out that I do not even know what the problem is let let along the solution as and as uh, and as we do this kind of work and going within and starting where we are the mind opens up it can help to to the real solution and in the in the end mm -hmm. even the question sometimes it's helpful to ask the question why am I upset it comes down to releasing even that and then be open to what comes in and then everything it, it's like the form um, the form may shift however and just be so open to allow the form and whatever changes uh, um, to shift in the way that everything is to accept everything is given to support that change and to just find that inner solution but that is beyond form but this is where the means become the means but not the end mm. and at that point if this is truly what's helpful that like that uh, a symbol of support is given as a partner or as a devoted friend it's gonna come everything is gonna come like everything it can help it can, uh, like once there is that desire desire up front like uh, the form can't help but arrange and actually when when enough blocks are being released then the mind is open this is where it this is where it comes down to letting go of control and letting go of the way you think the problem can be fixed the way what you think the problem is and it could be as simple as like, uh, what if only I had a loving partner, yeah. everything would be okay. If only he gave me, he, she gave me enough attention, everything will be all right. That's that. I know the problem. So like, <laughs> it, like I know the problem. I know the solution. This is what it is, and and it's so simple. Like just gi I'm worthy. Give it to me, right? Uh, but the whole p point is to really release, like re release the question and release and release the problem and release and therefore be open to the real solution mm -hmm. and be open to actually the experience in the end like the, it all comes down to b it being answered through experience and then uh, and, and from there on everything is but the means to come into that experience this is where it's, it gets a bit specifics and this is where we talk about guidance and what is given what is precisely given by the spirit and uh, but prior to that the leap I guess the leap of faith would be and this comes down to uh, relationships is uh, the leap of faith would be to release the problem mm. to release the question to release what I think the problem is and what I believe the solution is and this is what like sometimes it takes 
many, 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 in, you know, uh, instruments for peace and inner work. Uh, so to come to that, to, to come true openness, though true openness, not like okay, fine. Uh, and then from there, it's uh, just be open. What comes and everything is given. And the, like we were actually too talking, um, how we we talk about marrow path. Have you heard us talk about a marrow path? <laughs> <laughs> or have you uh, heard uh, maybe David Hofmeister talk about um, the narrow path and then this other guy, called Jesus Christ, talked about <laughs> <laughs> the narrow path, mentioned that a few mm. times. So, and then we talk about, and what we say that we practice the narrow path and, and we talk, we, we like, I mean, we're talking prayer and guidance and and precise guidance in every moment, precisely what's given in every most in in every moment, and um, and of course, and I and I was just saying, just recently that that's so funny though the narrow path and it feels like you let go you kind of like you're old like you seem to be called to let go of something even if it's a thought a desire like your way of solving. Um, something and then it just just link up just link up with the with the guidance that's gonna um, mm, um, bring you towards the solution and it's just like narrow 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 oh, do only that do only that in every moment tune in to that what is only that but in a way but then it comes down to that everything is given like it's almost like you can't even afford to say, no, I'm, I'm cool, I don't need that, I'm good. No, you need everything, everything. And, and you don't, it's kind of like, y you're kidding yourself that you think I only need that, I only, if only I had one partner. It's actually opening up like everything has to be used, everything on the, uh, on the table. It's like, and beyond. And so it's actually what like, uh, this is what happens and again it's back to the means to it and sometimes it's just but what are the means to experience that what are the means to find that mm -hmm. within and as we open up it's just with each question we can practice that with each question i seem to be have a problem with such a situation or with certain someone we dare to work with specific and to like and to give over in that way each specific to the to the spirit and uh, and see and just okay like solve it like give me the solution be and and dare like to be open to the solution knowing and and release your own solution and your own problem that what you think it is and it's it's daring to do that and then uh, and it comes down is just where you are is perfect where you are is perfect and and the kind of partner you have right now is perfect for that too and uh, and as your mind shifts things will probably shift but it's all just mm -hmm. it's all just a reflection of your own will and it's all, it's gonna come to as a reflection of your own willingness your own your own desire to to your own openness to the real solution and uh, and David, David, David Hofmeister, um, I hear him mention every so often, he'll say, it's a maze, you know, the whole thing, the ego set it up, it's a maze, it's a maze, mm. but the spirit know the way, knows the way out of it, mm. and that's why we can't even possibly figure anything out, like, at, at, at any point, we can't possibly say, I know something about anything, it's a maze, but spirit knows the way out through the whole thing in such a artful way that it's uplifting in every moment that it's uh that it's truly uplifting and that's like you know what may seem like such a huge block it's just falls away like a fly and it's just like wow it is seen as a wow it's just a thought it's a it's it's it's, it's nothing because something so little can prevent anything can have any kind of power but spirit knows the way to it Spirit only spirit knows how to bring the mind to the, you know, to the solution, mm. and uh, and sometimes like with partners that are seemingly um, not on your on your own, on, on not interested in your spiritual journey, it's still it's just a great opportunity to even watch your mind for wanting something, 
wanting them wanting them to be on your on your pathway one it like wanting 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 trying rather than accept it for yourself and 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 keep walking trying to convince them but rather than convince me like okay I'm okay I'm, I'm fearful like I have like convince me convince me what would you have me accept what would you have me uh, what can I do like further uh, mm, what is your will and it's like convince them try to get them and it's the same egoic system and and in the end it's just no matter what no matter how far you're gonna go it all comes down to it's always going to be about releasing your brother of any kind of expectation any kind of expe expectation and any kind of judgment even that they're not on the spiritual pathway that's not good and so and then the, you stay open it's like it, in the end it's just show me show me show me show me I'm willing to question each and everything and and in the end if, if you have an upset there's something to work with and uh, it's back to um, yeah, to, to just, um, I have, I have an upset and I'm willing, I'm, I'm willing to see differently and I'm willing to be open to a miracle and I mean a miracle beyond, um, and, and release what I think miracle looks like to me because mm. a lot of times, well, a miracle would be just <coughs> my partner just came out of nowhere and just sat down and <coughs> said, hi, I'm so interested in what you do that would be a miracle and if there's some kind of that kind of attachment that's going to be really painful because mm -hmm. it's like and then again it's back to god doesn't love me mm -hmm. but it's also but and that's denying actually god's love mm -hmm. and like what's given and so this is where it comes down to such subtlety like that this is why mm -hmm. every partner is perfect like mm -hmm. every partner even that situation is perfect too right now you can begin right there and then and don't like don't don't trick yourself into oh I can't do that because do this because I don't have my partner like I have to like when I have my partner and things that I think I need mm -hmm. then I'll begin um, no no it's it's a perfect situation to practice uh, releasing mm -hmm. uh, releasing 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 and uh, uh, and like I said, of course, uh, as as you go along along the pathway, everything's going to be continually given, given, mm. and uh, but it's also going to be as a reflection of your own willingness, of your own openness, of your own um, just openness of to receive, um, yeah, of your own uh, knowing a call for love and actually wanting to receive the answer for the call for love so and uh, yeah and, and the means are something that we do like to talk narrow path and it's very the means are like uh, like uh, even even in the course it comes down that if um, um, it is very important to be aware of like that goal like you know to have that goal up front the purpose of peace of mind and uh, and that's what's gonna pull you out like just having that in awareness like that's the purpose of all of it right uh, to to have that to have nothing in between that but and so but there go go the means and sometimes and an ego oftentimes will deny 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 the means and and wanting something else and just judge 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 because the means are gonna serve no purpose at all no egoic purpose at all so of course it's not gonna be thrilled it's not it's not it's not gonna say like oh it's so inspiring and so but this is where sometimes it's accept it's very important to accept the actual means that are truly given by the spirit too and and whether it's a, a relationship, whether it's like a certain type of context, whether it's a project, whether it's a job, a new job, it is very important to accept those means. And uh, the ego will always flare and say, and mm -hmm. uh, like, don't don't think like, don't think that's not going to happen. And judge it and say it's like, it's low, it's not good enough, it's. Uh, whatever whatever the judgments are something has to be better it's not good enough not good enough nothing's ever good enough so 
end cells, but uh, it is where. So, but then if there's just kind of like pushing your weight, the means, right? And then in the end, it comes down that it's not that means are not good enough. It's just there isn't perhaps there's a doubt whether the purpose is even wanted. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. to begin with, mm. right? And that's again, that's something that's a doubt. That is something that is just really. It is egoic doubt. It's not your doubt, and even in the end, but if it's hidden, if it's protected then you think it's yours, then you think that something actually, it's a sin and something to be punished for, and then it's a victim, and it's back and it's back in the victim, I want, I want, I want, but it just doesn't happen. Everybody has it, but it doesn't happen to me. So, uh, um, so, so yeah, and then there's like, I talked about like, uh, denying the means, and then everything is going to be denied, like you wouldn't even recognize that you actually have the love of your life in front of you. And so it's back to, mm. like, to the extent that you are aware of that purpose, what it's for. And the purpose is, like, to the ego, it's like terrible, 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 terrible purpose. Mm. Uh, but it's most inspiring to use your brothers, to use all, like, in the end, the whole world, all the symbols, to, uh, to use your brother for the one and only purpose, for one, for the sole purpose of seeing the and releasing the blocks to the awareness of love. Mm -hmm. It's very different than trying to get to get anything, even love, for the sole purpose of seeing and releasing the blocks. And to the extent you actually feel truly that this is what it's like, it's in your heart. To that extent, you'll recognize each and every brother, each, each and every situation that comes your way, that keeps presenting itself, is the answer to that as your soulmate, as your perfect situation, and the one who comes around as your like soulmate, as the love of your life. And um, yeah, yeah, because uh, I was saying because too, because sometimes the purpose, it, like the purpose is so foreign to the ego, it, it doesn't recognize it. It's not there, like you can't feel it through the five senses. So sometimes because it's so different, it's so radical in the mind that a l like it could be that thoughts like, okay, well, yeah, something keeps being presenting or even like certain one it keeps showing up mm -hmm. and it's denied. It's like, I don't have a spark with, like <laughs> I have no draw. <laughs> but it's, it's so, so sometimes it's just a leap of faith and just knowing that if something or someone keeps presenting, it's just like, this is how we even, like, what is given, it's kind of being very, very open and very, mm. very prayerful, what is truly, like, on the table, and if it's just the push away, and sometimes it, it like, if there, if there's continuous um, guidance to embrace it, embrace, and then this is how, one step at a time, sometimes it could be a period of a leap of faith, because you feel, but I don't feel anything, because it, Ego doesn't know it. I don't feel anything, hmm. and it could be it, like judged that it's not inspiring. It's not like I, you know, it has to be inspiring. But again, it's just beyond. Some, again, it goes back to sometimes you have to release your own sense, what your own sense of inspiration to get to hmm. down to the core of what true inspiration is. And sometimes it takes a bit of a faith, a walk hmm. of trust prior to that, like know that okay, the purpose has been changed. You know, and there is in the heart, and things are going to be it, it, it take different now. Like things, everything is the same, but it's used for the very, for the very different purpose. And there's no point of reference anywhere in the mm -hmm. mind to it. So it takes some adjust adjustment in the mind and, and a walk of trust, some faith, and then it's some prior to even actually like the actual ignition can be felt. But that this is like where the subtleties come in with those, and again, and more and more we walk and like notice the subtleties, the more the recognition hits, which with because the purpose hits, you know, and it could be like a, a, a series of situations prior to that, a series of relationships mm -hmm. prior to that. No, not one is no better than other. It's all just it's all a walk of trust, and then and then as it hits. The more the purpose truly settles in within, the uh, the more there's a s 
extent like actual experiential experiential sense of that purpose within the more there's that recognition that each and every one is uh, your soulmate the very one that's given like the love of your life and each situation is absolutely perfect and is given like to really um, um, to release everything that's not there and mm. to experience something like beyond all of it and to be truly happy ultimately to have the kind of day that you truly the kind of day starts to dawn to on the mind it's like that's all I've ever wanted and um, so so yeah, I guess I just had this thought like sometimes the the support you said when it lands sometimes the support or the relationship or the companion that you need comes in so simultaneous with the event or just before that it's really hard to recognize that that's what they're for because it hasn't hit you yet but they are aware because they're you know often a step or two ahead of you and they they're aware it's about to hit you and they're saying take my hand and they're like I'm fine no no take my hand right now I'll take my hand and you're and you're like yeah no I'm really I'm really I'm just enjoying the day I'm like take my hand <laughs> and uh, you know and then it's a lot easier to take it in that moment and say, well, I don't know why they need to take my hand. And I would say, if you're ever offered, just take the hand and uh, be willing to find <laughs> out why it could be helpful. You know, it's because then when it hits, when the disorientation hits, when the rearrangement of of your life hits, because you've prayed for it now, yeah. not not because it's unwelcome, it's like because you, you've actually asked for it, you have step by step support for looking at it so lightly in your mind that it's not at all the same experience as if you'd faced it on your own. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you face it on your own, you're more likely to shut the door and run mm -hmm. back to every kind of relationship you've ever known, all of the stuck type of ones, you're, you're bound to get back with exes and mm -hmm. reinvest yourself in your life and hide. Mm -hmm. So if a mighty companion offers you their hand <laughs> and you feel some strange kind of draw to it, but you can't see a purpose or a value in it yet, mm. I, I would go to prayer on that real fast or even ask that companion because I've seen again and witnessed mm. again and again, those that were able to take, you know, any of the three of us, we've all experienced this, our hand in that moment, they can just like step out of things that would have taken lifetimes. Mm. Just likely step out of it because you just say, just step over here. And then you're watching it together and it's suddenly not even your own life that's um, being undone it's mm. just happening and you're truly in the witness uh, perspective like with the dreamer of the dream because you've got a mighty companion and it's a whole other experience of life to be to be with the love of your life there safe secure in trust and that development of trust I, I don't think it can be emphasized enough that it's you know the learning to trust your brother as yourself is your invitation to trusting the Holy Spirit. It's, it's the same. And um, I've never experienced anything uh, but good grace in trusting my brother as myself. Yeah, mm -hmm. Always warranted. Because who am I really trusting? It's the Spirit. Mm -hmm. So how, how can I go wrong on who I'm listening to? I've decided to hear the Spirit through you, so I hear the Spirit through you. Mm -hmm. What can go wrong? Mm -hmm. You know, I love that. So be very attentive what mm. hand, just where that hand is coming from, what it's presenting. Mm. So you can just really practice that in the next coming days if you know you're praying for something like that. And we have a question. Maria <laughs> 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 in, in North California um, asks, when the love of your life is in a human form, how do you separate it from special love? <laughs> you don't want to exclude it. <laughs> That's the thing. That's the trick. The, my first answer is you don't. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. Mm. Actually, we have been experiencing that too. See, so, well, the spirit can use anything in form, mm. isn't it? This, mm. you know. That's what we believe in is the form. So the spirit's got to use what we believe in. And are drawn to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so to hurdle us in, into abstract love and light, which is what we truly are, is way beyond what we could comprehend. So the the gentle the gentleness of the spirit uses yeah. these special relationships to actually unwind us from them. You become especially helpful. Yeah. Especially helpful. <laughs> <laughs> and so they're not to be avoided or pushed away or think there's something wrong. It's actually this is where it is actually it does take prayer to uh, to ensure that this is the one you know if it's given to be you know like a, a a deep assignment if you like or a physical relationship then that 
that's prayer and it's prayer on both parts really mm. just to come in and say okay this is given and so let's explore this together and really be very prayerful about every single you know mm. movement here and, yeah. and not taking anything for granted especially not bringing anything from past relationships our you know i'm at, ba I'm at base one now <laughs> <laughs> going on a base two, you know, uh, you know, if it's supposed to be something physical, oh, we should be kissing by now. Or we right. should, you know, <laughs> not like, knowing what that, it is. Just really. absolutely yeah. letting go of any sort of past references, what they say in magazines or TV shows, you know, or any of your past relationships to be here mm. right now with this one that's given, you know, where it's just like it's completely fresh and new and, and it's vibrant and beautiful just to be here now and... Uh, you know, if there is meant to be something physical, great. And if there isn't, that's great too. And to be really good with that. And if it's not given and you really want it, to be able to raise that up and say, oh, I want to see this differently. You know, we really want to come at this experience very, very fresh. Mm -hmm. So not to be, not to judge the specialness, you know, what you think even is specialness. Uh, just to allow it and in prayer together, uh, really being mindful and giving it over to the Spirit. Um, and one of the most helpful things that I've found is actually to pause, you know, uh, where we used to just rush into you know, the bases or whatever, into something is just to be able, if something doesn't feel right with either of you, really to give each other permission just to be able to stop, you know, whereas the ego wants to rush forward into something, it's like just pausing, pause and pray, just stop, because in that then there can be a, a redirection or at least a checking in, maybe there's some emotion to become, I mean, whatever it is, will be given in that moment of actually pausing, so that's a a very one of the most powerful things that I found actually to be able to just stop in the, in the moment when something doesn't feel right and then mm -hmm. whatever is most helpful will be given and then to move in that direction you know. and it's uh, and it's just know again back to just know for yourself of the purpose if um, okay so you know it's all set uh, in terms of specialness it's all special relationships but this is where it's not about denying your relationships it's about are you willing to give over your relationship for the purpose of purification mm. you don't go just from a special relationship mm. and to a holy relationship and that there's a purification and so and so that's why like uh, there's nine chapters or eight or nine chapters mm. spent um, um, on it uh, in the Course in Miracles and, 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 and there's a whole description of a special relationship and in the end it's like okay uh, but it's back to now use it for your purpose and and so that very spark that very draw is gonna also like you better have that spark whatever in the end if this is truly the context that it's given the context of such a relationship let's call it an intimate relationship partnership where um, spirit is going to use that very one um, for mirroring. Mm. For mirroring, this is where it's going to be the, a really fast track to really get in touch what is really in your mind. Mm. And it's a very, very different purpose. It, it, it may get a lot, like it may, prior to even getting to being able to pause and pray together, it may get... Um, very intense or dismantling to the ego because of that judgment mm. because the ego is just roars and dismisses and it's like its purpose is being snatched away so or even trying to get rid of that brother to begin with uh, but this is where this is the use this is why we're talking about the use of relationship and uh, and so that's where spirit can use that very what you would call a special relationship for healing for purification mm. for mirroring and it could be, and it will be a really fast track mm. to healing. Mm. And um, yeah, and especially, um, it's good for both. Like we mentioned at the beginning, it, it, it is quite helpful when both are aware of that purpose, that this is what's going to happen. And so it's just a natural, uh, just awareness it, it's very helpful it, it is very helpful it's um, ultimately helpful to um, to really to have um, to have a mutual agreement on that one and to like uh, awareness on both sides and this is where you also there's no need to judge from there knowing that then everything's gonna happen the way it ha it's gonna happen 
only like you can just hold the purpose up on and it's gonna the spirit's gonna use it for like some very deep and thorough and purification and like i said mm. mirroring and especially if it's given if it's truly given and if, and you know and if and also how do you know it's part of your pathway there's a desire for it mm. too so it's it's wonderful. It, then it's something to be embraced and then and just be committed to. And uh, and the rest let the spirit let, let the spirit lead the way. Mm. And uh, and the key to it is non judgment, just non judgment. Mm. So it can uh, it, it can also you know prior to like some kind of settling in, it can be very dismantling. It can be very intense but that's even like if that these are the means that it's given uh ha, like just have faith like to watch for the temptation to get rid of your brother and to mm. call you yeah communication is key and uh, it, it mm -hmm. could be very different it just could be very different and uh, but if that's your desire then it is granted and there's really really a, a deep purpose to all those to those relationships indeed indeed It can be really fun. <laughs> if that's what you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing more fun to me. I mean, if, it's definitely inspiring. If that's inspiring. what you want, yeah. And, uh, and if it, it, it's, it's extremely inspiring. And, and, and I, keep, uh, I keep hearing the word commitment. So then if that's what it is, if that's what you want and you feel like there is there's something on the offer there, then commit, commit to it and let the spirit use it for its purposes. And uh, the ego will deem it a sacrifice because it's like, but it's, again, a temptation, just a temptation. Right. And so it's, but it, it, it's a gift that way. It's a gift, it's, it's a gift. Um, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> very like that. I, I do very much encourage mm. that. And I hope that answers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, like keep, uh, I want to say, keep us posted. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> I think when we realize the specialness is really with ourselves anyway, then everything can be used for undoing. Yeah. Like, you know, that we're trying to stay attached to who we are in relationship to everyone. So that's what's really, that's where the specialness really is. Like we've created a whole universe that we feel special about. So, yeah. Here's a question. Um, Marianne asks, can you define the special hate relationship? Love of distraction. You know, it's it's very hard to experience hatred. Getting, getting, yeah. getting. Like the core of a, a special relationship, especially hate relationship, like a special relationship altogether. It's getting, 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 and the shift from a holy from a special relationship to the holy relationship is giving. Ultimately, it's as simple as that. And meanwhile, prior to even starting to experience that they can be just a lot of turbulence a lot a lot mm. of turbulence a big like because egoic purpose is being snatched away mm. and and a movie comes to my mind is a perfect sense it's just about that mm. it's like the whole movie is like is about a shift in the mind and it looks like it happens all over the place because it's like it's symbolic that it's happening in the mind from a purpose of getting to a purpose of um uh, of giving, like doing everything for giving, 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 and the hurricanes they go through mm -hmm. each time, like because you know how we talked about the ego, the ego thinks only knows five cents, and so in the perfect sense, every time there's a hurricane of emotion, mm -hmm. the, a sense goes away, and so like uh, a taste, a smell, in the end even the eyesight. Right, goes away mm -hmm. and it's all back to just like Christ vision completely mm -hmm. and prior and after each and every shift like that there's a hurricane of emotion there's a hurricane hurricane and then there's that harmonious just like ah something new is being experienced but 
and so um, so so yeah that's in, in short that is the core of any special relationship is getting and uh, the core of a holy relationship is giving mm -hmm. is is learning to get into that gift because that's how you learn that you have it all within and away from that lack and you know and due to that like even like the lack like some may say I don't have lack, you know. I have, like it could be so far uh, down that it's not even an awareness, and so it could even be ever so present. It's like, oh wow, that thought of lack, how much I the want, and then it's still it's 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 shifting into giving, giving, and that's all the whole relationship. It's it's all to experience how much I have. I have it all within. I have it all within. Nobody can give me anything or withhold anything from me. And, and so it's just, and that's where the means in the end, it's all about giving, 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 giving. And so, and release all the blocks and see where you like to withhold due to a judgment or any of it. Or, so in the end, it's that simple. Mm. And uh, we may, maybe like... Well, that getting is, is the block. And the getting goes very deep, you know, that's, mm -hmm. that's the essence of the ego is getting. And what is getting? It's like wanting anything, expecting anything, mm -hmm. anticipating anything from that person right. or that relationship. You know, it's like it, it goes very deep. You know, if, you, if you're expecting anything <laughs> from them, mm -hmm. that's a getting. That's, that's, the, special, that's mm -hmm. the specialness that is to get undone. You know, that's what we mm -hmm. want to undo. And, and the giving is just so foreign to the ego mm. <laughs> you know and it's not necessarily giving something in form it's not about yeah, that it's really it's the giving this mind. state of mind it's yeah. coming and what is and how do you get this giving really it's coming yeah. from the spirit that's the essence of it special relationship really is not being in line with the spirit and holy relationship is is allowing the spirit to come through so that's you know i guess that's a summary of it that you know we really want to be in alignment with the spirit at all times and that's when everything does flow so beautifully you know that's where our true peace our true joy comes in that's where we don't make any decisions for ourselves mm -hmm. you know when we really give it over to the spirit mm -hmm. that's where the, the true essence is and that takes practice you know mm -hmm. the practice is not making any decisions by myself uh, in anything including the relationship and really being present for your brother uh, without you know just without mm -hmm. any past reference you know oh, yeah. doesn't matter how well they you know each other or you haven't seen each other for some time and had a great time you know it's all that it's actually letting go of anything from the past and being fully present right now to allow the spirit to come through mm -hmm. that's that's where holy relationship can really yeah. flourish and that's where mm -hmm. the inspiration the joy the spark comes in and on a consistent basis you know it's not that it, it's there in a moment and then it goes you might get a fleeting glimpse of something that's so euphoric you think wow that's fantastic and then it leaves you know the idea and the practice comes you want to have that consistently it's available to us consistently not in some burst that's just going to go away and never to be found again not that you want to yeah. search for it because yeah. it's our true essence it's who we truly are there's this absolute joy this effervescence is who we are and so it's just the washing away of the stuff that gets in the way isn't it mm. it's just washing away of those blocks to allow the spirit to come through. So. Yeah. Oh, what a question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <You're on fire. laughs> um, Heidi asks, help me to understand what I am calling for when I found out that a son-in-law steals from my home. How do I process this in this context? Hmm. Hmm. Were you upset? That's the <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> like, yeah, that's the question. If, if something like that happened and it's kind of like there's no interpretations to it, then mm. then it's just will perceived as a call for love. Mm. It's just a call for love. Mm. That's all there is to it. And again, like how, how would spirit uh, answer that and just being really prayerful as mm. to how to answer that. And that's, that's also like, that's why we would talk about purification and using relationships and everything to... Uh, um, to release all kinds of everything, expectations, uh, because without the expectations, everything is perceived either opportunity to give love or love or call for love. So I would it's just definitely a call for love there, but also uh, also prior to that to even see like do I what's the interpretation, what's the emotion, and uh, and uh, and if that's what's happening if it's not seen that way then it's your inner work 
Levelsofmind.com. So, so yeah, that's that's where we get into equality, back to equality, mm. and yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Very so good. I think um, yeah, it feels pretty, like we're pretty full. Yeah, I'm glad we touched upon it <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. It was really. I don't think we had any choice. It was sort of bursting through, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, thought, it was just yeah, so obvious. And we pray <laughs> for, like, we pray for to be inspired ourselves, mm. and to, so we can't talk theology. So it's just mm. like what's truly present. And then we thought, oh, it's a, like it's universal. Let's mm. mention it. Right, and uh, uh, we, uh, we, we are holding a virtual retreat, mm. Michael and I, this weekend, and, um, and I think we just, we called it a personalized virtual retreat, mm. because uh, we don't know the themes, but we're just <laughs> so open, right, and so some themes are unfolding, such as this, relationships, 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 and how do you use relationships, so that's been pretty present. So we are. Um, It'll be very much for those that attend, you know, yeah. this personalized thing. It really yeah, is, you know, yeah. for the questions that come up, you'll, you know, who we are, we're on this for less than an hour, you know, for a retreat, we have a number, like four different sessions that are a couple of hours each, probably. So we were able to go into a lot more depth and answer a lot more questions. And uh, yeah, we'll have, probably have a movie amongst that. So the themes for the weekend, probably the last session will be a movie, and that'll yeah. be the combination, probably, of the themes that come through from the weekend. So that's the personalized yeah. nature. We'll put it in quote marks, of course. Yeah, <laughs> like it, 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 that means technically you decide the theme, yeah. right? And mm. we're just uh, we're just so open. Mm. And uh, and it's just the weekend of this. and mm. like, But a little more, like movies and experientials. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so welcome. We do invite you to Have you got a link you can send them? Or you already have? Alexa's on it. So, yeah. And, and Sarah, your comments do, you wanna, do you want to share a little bit about your travel? Yeah, I, I'm on an East West yeah. spirit led tour. That's all mm. I was told and yeah. given a plane ticket. And uh, so it's been wonderful. So I'm here high up on this is probably the highest point, I'd say, on the tour. <laughs> and then it's, it's down to the coast from here. So I'm heading. Uh, towards Flagstaff, Sedona, then La Quinta, California, LA, and up to San Francisco. So if you're anywhere along that route, or even a little bit veering either direction, and you feel to get in touch and invite me to come and stay, or if you have a course group you'd like me to visit, or you'd like to host a gathering, a movie gathering or anything, yeah, just get, get in touch. Um, how? How? <laughs> Thismysticlife.org. <laughs> and there's a contact there and audios from the tour so far so mm -hmm. kind of a lot of the the things we've been talking about just now as well mm -hmm. a lot about the loves of my life I've been meeting along the way mm -hmm. so you yeah you, you enjoy meeting everyone one-on-one -on -one. yeah I really yeah. love uh, you know I, I've stayed with a lot of hosts just in their own mm -hmm. home and just gone into something quite deep with them that they've mm -hmm. been facing really enjoy that uh, as well so you know or meet you for coffee or dinner or something along the way if I'm already being hosted somewhere so yeah just mm. get in touch so. yeah. Sarah at this mystic life mm. org. so so yeah once again just talking about like being attentive to what hand where is that <laughs> off hand of help coming from mm. so be attentive <laughs> <laughs> and we have so devotional stays here in Canada too yeah. right so if people wants to you hand. want to come here in Canada and uh, have a devotional stay for oh, yeah, a yeah. couple of weeks or um, that sort of thing you can actually fill in a devotional stay application and Alexa will get a link and put that in the comments as well and and Deanna and I are oh, looking at here. touring in the US and Canada yeah. and uh, open to invitations for gatherings or retreats and so um, mm -hmm. the way they contact us uh, is uh, well, Deanna D-I-A-N-A -A yeah. at uh, livingmiracles.org or Michael at livingmiracles.org and uh, yeah. yeah we're just open to right. how that looks at the moment we don't have a, a route planned or yes. <laughs> yeah. we're just based here yes. in campus right now so. yeah. yeah yeah this is the, that's our route yeah. so like this has been our route <laughs> so to speak <laughs> lots of hearts look at that oh, yeah. the screen is ablaze yeah. with hearts that's and, and, and it's been really fun because we have guests <laughs> yes thank you guests 
too so it's really mm. really fun so we actually do feel like we're on tour too like we're touring <laughs> tours coming so to you know. yes yeah, yeah. So it's really quite something mm. it's uh, so that's why we even felt like it's, we have to like share this yeah just mm. because it's been so joyous and spontaneous mm. and uh such an experience for, for mm. all of us yeah mm. joy yeah. Thank you. Such joy. Thank you for joining. And, yeah, and thank you. you for your questions. Yeah. And we'll see you. We'll see you. We yeah. will. A lot of love coming your way. <laughs>